Hi guys, it's Mel, and we're out on a, another gorgeous day up in the Highlands of Scotland. And we've come to this beautiful beach, it just stretches for miles, beautiful white sand. The tide's right out at the moment, as you can see. So I'll do the bottom of the bridge. I've got the dais with me, unfortunately. <laughs> so uh, I'll try a bit of the wet sandy, but I'm never too happy with its performance, so they prefer my CTX, but hey ho, that's what we got with us. So I can't believe how beautiful this place is. Absolutely stunning. So you need to go to the Caribbean when you've got beaches like this. So I'll be probably doing the, a couple of the gullies I can see out in the wet sand. I'll try those and then I'll get chased in with the tide about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Then we'll do a bit of dry sanding up on the edge of the dunes here. But there's uh, one little thing on the horizon there which concerns me. Is that huge great cloud mass that's coming this way. Uh, hopefully it'll miss us and go down the, the North Sea and not come inland. So let's get out there on this gorgeous day. Hi guys, been uh, going an hour now and I've been right out in the wet sand and the only thing it's good for out here is just to take it in the view. Just look at that, absolutely gorgeous. So we've got all the way up there to the north of Scotland and I mean the real north of Scotland. Once you get to Inverness you're only halfway and you go all the way up the Black Isle, Dornock, all up that way and if we swing round, see so you coming round to the, the mountains of Angaro. Ross and Crometry. You've even got, still got the snow on the top of the hills in the, in the distance there. Absolutely gorgeous place. A shame there's no finds out here. I'll give it another an hour or so. The tide's uh, about to turn, so we'll see what happens. Well, guys, it's taking just over an hour to get this first signal. I can't believe it. I've got 20 pence, but I seem to have found a, a patch of black sand down there. So I'll just concentrate on this here. You can just see the, the black there. And then there's about four inches of brown sand on top of it. So we'll give this a little spiral out and see what we can find, if anything. Well, guys, two hours, three signals. This is the, the third signal. Looks like a, a USB connector. That'll be well jiggered. Oh, it's for an apple as well. Got the, the lightning connector. Well, I think uh, we'll have a wee break and then we'll start dry sanding because there's certainly nothing out here in the wet sand that's for sure so uh, I'll get back to the car and come back to you later on in the afternoon 20p the dry sand's starting to produce it's hard work though <laughs> well I just got the 20p out there there's another signal next to it and it's a, a number which I like let's see what we got yep we have found a pound at last. Second day up here before we found the pound. There we go, that's been there a while. Oh, it's hopefully there's a, a few more this afternoon. Okay. Looks like we got a bit of dog bling here. That looks like a, a dog tag in the shape of a bone. Let's uh, we'll try sand, there's got a few bits and pieces in it, so uh, I think that'll be the theme for this afternoon. Just uh, grid up and down. 20p! Ah, somebody's lost their fishing door. Good job there's no hook on it though. Hi guys, it's Mel and welcome to the review. My second hunt up at Nairn Beach. And what a beautiful beach that was. You think you were in the Caribbean and Antigua or Barbados. Beautiful white sand just stretches and stretches for miles. But nothing there. Absolutely amazing. So it's, we've got a few crown caps, junk wise. and electrical connector but even the junk there's very little of it it's just so clean that beach i don't think there's many people actually go on it and same with the finds first three hours what did we get three signals 20p crown cap and this uh cable i don't even know if it will even work <laughs> it's all dried out now so hopefully we'll, we'll give that a try and a test and finds what we got one two three ten coins i think yeah, 10 coins. Found a pound though, that was one thing. <laughs> oh, a long time since I've come across a beach with nothing on it. Um, even the dais was... Which, I can't play the dais for, uh, for today's stuff. There's just nothing there for it to find. But the wet sand is just terrible. Um, I think one of the locals was saying that the, shan the sand shifts around that much that it just covers everything up. I did find that little patch of, of black sand, but... That was all it was in it. it was that 120p nothing else there and then after about 
five or six spirals around it just petered out so it just looks to be a little high point on there so overall i enjoyed enjoyed my visit up there even though we didn't find much it's such a beautiful part of the country that i absolutely love it. it's my it's my home homeland up there and i absolutely love it um I do like the caribbean as well i've been there a few times <laughs> so little short review again little short video so happy hunting to you all catch up in the next one we'll be back down south uh probably been going on some of the pasture sites that i've got down there so see you in the next one cheers guys